Oklahoma State came into the season with the highest preseason ranking in school history. They will face Houston, and this is your preview. So glad to have you along. Brought to you by Tyson Anytizers. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Dennis Dodd, our college football columnist, joining us now. Dennis, Oklahoma State surged onto the national scene last season with a 7-0 start and an upset win of then number three Missouri. They already knocked off Georgia. How good is this team? Uh, they're pretty good. I, I think they made a major statement Saturday against Georgia. It was really a clash of, you know, the SEC and the Big 12. Those two went head-to-head -head last year. Oklahoma State was all offense. We know the kind of defense they played in the SEC. But, frankly, Oklahoma State smacked Georgia in the mouth, holding them to 10 points. It was one of the better defensive efforts under Mike Gundy, uh, the coach there. And they have to carry it on against Houston, which is much the same team as Oklahoma State. They're all offense. Uh, Oklahoma State played them last year and rolled up 699 yards in a 56-37 to victory. Uh, so I don't think it'll be that way this week. I think it'll be a little more tilted in Oklahoma State's favor. They are, they're a complete team right now. They're, they're a concern. You said Houston's all offense. We saw a monster game from Case Keenum just last week, but can they score against a top 10 opponent, Dennis? Well, I think it will actually be easier for Oklahoma State. That, you know, Georgia's more, more of a balanced team. They were breaking in a new quarterback. But if you can concentrate more on the pass, especially at home, with, an all, with a guy who's developing into an all-American defensive back, Parrish Cox, um, he had a big game last week. He had four tackles. He had four broken up passes. That's a good month for some defensive backs. Uh, and he's one of the best returners in the country. So I think Kit, Parrish Cox is probably licking his lips at the prospect of going against Case Keenum this week. Dennis, before I let you go, I want to talk about the image of Sam Bradford on the sidelines in street clothes, an image Bob Stoops would obviously like to forget. But is that going to make way for the Cowboys to be the best school in the state right now? Well, yeah, I, I think obviously they are. Uh, we got the news this week that Jermaine Gresham, the, the All-American tight end, is out. Uh, Sam Bradford is out for an extended period of time. And even if those two were with them right now, Oklahoma has significant offensive line problems, which they're going to have to shore up before they do anything. So, yeah, I, I think it's clearly, clearly Oklahoma State is the best team in that state right now. It is college football time. Anything can happen. 3.30 Eastern is game time. Thank you for watching the preview brought to you by Tyson Enningtizers, the meaty good man snack. We'll see you real soon.